Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of World of Tanks Blitz where today I'll be telling you how I got my Object 252U for free which is in my opinion the best tier 8 heavy tank and also the best tier 8 premium tank and thus also the best credit maker in the game. Let's first of all have a look at the statistics of this tank. This tank has got a tier 9 gun which is the 122mm BL-13 with 6 seconds of aim time at best and I'm having the best possible aim time here and 6 seconds is pretty darn long. With 0.4 dispersion and 2k DPM uh, you could sure think that this tank is not really going to be able to fight its way through um, difficult situations. But this tank packs quite of a punch. If you have a look at the alpha damage, it does 420, which is 20 more than, let's say, an I-6, which has got the same cal gun caliber, which it doesn't really make sense. But, I mean, <laughs> wargaming, right? We don't really have to ask. Um, 222 millimeters on the AP and 265 millimeters on the APCR. That is really, really nice pen, and you're not really going to have to worry about penetrating your opponents. Uh, you really shouldn't have many, many issues. Also, 70 millimeters on the HE. That is pretty strong HE pen as well. So it's got above average HE pen, so the HE is even more useful. And of course, it is because of the big gun caliber uh, useful to uh, take out low HP opponents. If we have a look at the turret armor, it's got 250 on the front, 150 on the sides and 100 on the rear. This is really, really strong turret armor, as is the hull armor. If we have a look, uh, it's 130 on the front and 100 on the sides. So this tank is going to be able to side scrape. And because of the um, armor shape, <coughs> excuse me, because of the armor layout, we're going to have a look at it in just a second. This tank is really, really able to bounce many shells. Um, it's got stronger armor <laughs> than the tier 10 I7, in fact. For the turret turn rate, it is 30 degrees per second pretty much, and the hull turn rate is 33.6 as well. So this tank has got pretty good um, agility, and you are going to be able to just wiggle around and drive and wiggle a bit, and then just increase the effectiveness of your armor by doing so. The top speed forwards is 35 kph, which, I mean, it's not the fastest. We have faster tier, um, well, faster heavy tank, uh, heavy tanks from the Soviet Union. Um, but it's still pretty fast and you know mobility is not an issue with this tank. Um, also the acceleration is fine for a heavy tank of this caliber um, and this is pretty much all the relevant information. Let's have a look at the tank itself. Uh, this is what you're going to be seeing from the front as an opponent. Um, you have the cupolas which are the only real weak spot on the front of course with the lower plate however if you get the lower plate at a slight angle just like this it becomes substantially stronger and really much harder to pen for your opponents and if you then add a little bit of wiggling then well they are pretty likely to hit your tracks or your upper plate or just bounce because this tank has got its Russian deflection powers. Um, of course the cupolas are a weak spot but if we have a look at them they are really really small and if you see this tank from the front unless you're face hanging it you're not really going to be able to hit those. Um, also uh, if you have a look at the armor layer on the side, you can see that it has space armor just under under the log on the left. And so if you shoot this tank with heat into the sides, or if enemies just try to AP you in the sides, you have got a pretty good chance of making them bounce. Also, if we have a look at the profile of the side of the turret armor, this tank has got pretty deflective angles on the turret. So um, even if enemies are able to shoot the side of your turret, you're still going to be able to bounce quite a lot of shells. Now, let's just have a really quick load, uh, look at my equipment. I'm using a rammer just to buff that DPM, which lies at 2K, which isn't great, but I mean, that's not really a problem. Um, I'm using gun length drive and stabilizer and double food, obviously, in order to improve that aim time, which is pretty abysmal, but it's got good stabilization, in my opinion, so the aim time doesn't feel as bad as it is. Um, defense system, assembly, toolbox, high-end consumables, accelerator, and optics, that is pretty standard layout. Now, without further ado, let's have a look at how this tank performs in battle. Here we are. Uh, we're playing the Object 252U on mines. As you can see, the enemies have got an AMX 5100, an FV, a Progetto light tank, uh, LTTB. So they have got a pretty mobile team, which means um, that I'm guessing that at least one of them is going to go into the middle ring, as you can see. Uh, it is lying just to my left, which is why I'm rushing forwards, and boom, there you go. Got the LTTB in the middle and the Progetto 46 behind. Now, there's a little many tanks here in front of me, but um, I managed to go forwards, and you can see I'm going to bait this LTTB. I'm not looking at him, but I mean, I made it pretty clear because my gun was like 80% pointing on him, 
But uh, <laughs> I look away, then he peeks out, I just switch my gun to him and I pop a shot into him. Now my good mobility allows me to go into the mid and put an HE round into the side of the AMX, which does, which does about 500 damage. And this LTTP is going to run down. Also notice how many shells I bounce by making this rather unusual play. <laughs> I can't say it was a smart play, but it works. So if it's stupid, but it works, it ain't stupid. I managed to bounce quite a few shots that go into my side. And I'm just sitting here pretty chill. Now, a little accuracy test. Uh, FV 500 meters, uh, 250 meters away, sorry. Doesn't matter. We just max roll him because Russia. Um... We got this LTTB who's still running around the map and feeling very suicidal. I guess that I could have a shot here and I see him jump up and I'm like, oh, let's take this shot, but gets a little bit unlucky and the shell misses. So what have we seen? We've seen an accuracy, which is interesting because, I mean, you see the aim time is long, yes, but it does shrink down to a reasonable bit, so it's not really a problem. Uh, and I'm also just going to meme <laughs> this tiger here, just going to jump down at him because why not? Um, I'm also going to just ignore this tiger. Now, why am I doing this? Well, I'm, I'm going to waste some HP here. I was thinking, well, I'll just kill him in a second here and uh, I'm going to fire, but yeah, I got a bit unlucky. That was not a good shot, but I ignore him because I know that the only tank who's going to be left alive is this M6 and I've seen him camp in the base. And so going here, also notice how I'm hiding my upper plate here uh, with that little side scrape. He bounces and I miss my shell. Now, this shot is exactly what happens when you aim too much in a Russian tank. Don't aim too much. Just play it as it lies. You can see, okay, aim time is long. Well, it's about two times the size of his, size of his turret, but you just point at it and you fire and you just trust that this RNG is going to work out for you because that is just what you're going to have to do uh, in such a Russian tank. As the aim time is pretty long, you can't wait for uh, the aim circle to shrink down to the max. You can't wait six seconds before firing. Play it as it lies and you are going to hit most of the time, especially with a vertical stabilizer I'm packing. Uh, means that you have better stabilization upon movement. So I did 2.6k damage, nothing all too special. I got 98,000 cre 98, credits, but I am using a credit boost, so that doesn't really count. But still, if you take 35,000 off of this credit amount, I would have gotten um, just about... 58,000 credits. So it doesn't make bad credits. Also, no, I'm using a premium account. Uh, no, I would have made more. But, you know, it's like reasonable credit maker. Anyways, um, that for the efficiency doesn't really matter. Credit making is fine with this tank. Um, also managed to block quite a bit of damage and you just rush forward. And that is just, this is what this tank is about. Just try to stay hull down. Um, point your gun at your enemy. Um, you know, if the pen isn't enough, load the gold and just fire. And most of the time it is going to go through as you've got that pretty good RNG on this tank. Now I'm going to tell you how I got this tank for free. I got this tank for free by watching the Wargaming tournament streams, which are right now. There is going to be one this evening. I'll make sure this video comes out today and you can watch those streams for at least an hour and a half. And then you will get, I think it is seven keys today. Why are these keys important? Well, these keys allow you to open these autumn season lock boxes and from these you can get you can get parts you can either get the projector obviously but it's got a one percent chance so very low chance of getting it uh, and you can also get a part of the certificate for the fcm 50t and for the la kpz m4190 millimeter if you have 100 of these you can redeem the tank and if you manage to uh, get the tank a second time then you're not going to get the same tank a second time but you are going to get gold as a compensation and the amount of gold you are getting is 3750 and since the tanks only cost 5000 gold and you manage manage to maybe sell some collector vehicles or maybe you uh, use some gold boosters in the game then it is actually fairly easy to get your gold total up to 5k and then you can buy one of these has super cheap tanks here as you can see uh, these cost 5k and i recommend you go for either the t265 or the object 252u or if you're more of an experienced player uh, go for the lorraine 40 ton everything else is not really worth it in my opinion um, you can just throw all of these tanks into the trash pretty much i mean the isu 122s yes it is good uh, I think it's the best out of the tank that are left, tanks that are left. But the 252U, the Lorraine, the T265, they really are the three best tanks. While the 252U is obviously the most easy tank to play, the easiest tank to play because it's just absolutely overpowered. And t 343 doesn't have good DPM, so don't go for it. Same goes for the VK, and you know the rest is just they're just not really worth it. Go for 252U, you can get it for free. And 
Don't forget to log into the World of Tanks Blitz portal. So you type www.whatblitz.en, then you log in uh, with your in-game accounts, then you go on streams, and then you watch their tournament streams. If you do that for an hour and a half, then you will get the keys. Do not, and I repeat, do not go on YouTube and watch the stream there, as Wargaming is not going to know which YouTube account is linked to which Blitz account and which account they shall ultimately gift these, credit, uh, these keys to. So don't make that mistake. All right, I hope you enjoyed this guide on the Object 252 and how I got this for free. If you did, feel free to leave a like and to subscribe. Uh, that will motivate me to make even more videos for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Snake out. <laughs>